Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The moon rotates around the Earth about the same speed it does around its axis, which is why we can only see one side of it, meaning that 41% of it hasn't been explored yet. This little-known fact surprises most people who assume they know everything about all things in the world, while so many things in our planet remain a mystery. For instance, Antarctica, which is not so popular, is as mysterious and full of wonder as any place on Earth. Whether it's the inexplicable ice domes or a giant face in the middle of an ice valley, or a crater that's likened to the state of Colorado, it's the land of a thousand icy secrets we're going to raise the curtain just a little bit and narrate to you the recent discoveries that'll make your blood run cold with wonder, excitement or surprise. Under the thick layer of ice, mysterious creatures live. Number 10. Ice domes of a giant face How can anything interesting happen in a place that doesn't seem to have life? Well, it can. There's a giant silhouette of a face that's been seen in satellite images of Antarctica on a mountain. It could be anything between a human or an alien. It resembles a statue that was found in the eyes for which you can make out a mouth, nose and a pair of eyes. Could this be the ruins of a civilization that was in contact with aliens? The alternative explanation is that it's just a trick of Mother Nature that could be presenting a play of snow, wind and frost. Experts dismiss all the presumptions and suggest that it's just a piece of snow crust that looks a tad too weird. Number 9. Huge holes the size of South Carolina or Colorado at this point, though, it gets even more weird when huge holes the size of South Carolina or Colorado State are seen in the icy terrain. The mysterious spot was first discovered in 2016 and then again in 2017. At first, it had an area of 3,700 square miles or 9,600 square kilometers. Over time, it grew to 30,000 square miles or 78,000 square kilometers. This spot was seen in an isolated part of the ocean that was ice-free in the middle of the ice desert. What is the logic behind this? For almost 50 years, scientists had no answers regarding the giant holes, better known as polynias, which is a Russian word to mean ice hole. A bit of insight came in 2019 when the University of Washington, with the support from NASA, came up with a few answers for the whole phenomenon. So, due to Earth's changing climate, such giant holes in Antarctica would appear regularly because the cold water of the ocean gets mixed with the warm currents. The warm water then rises up and melts the ice very fast. Number 8. The Mod Rise Plateau This is a big sea mount, the real underwater Mount Everest. Its topography enhances the flow of warm water towards the surface, creating a hose stream that washes down the cold ice. As glaciers flow into the Antarctic, it's good to note that in most parts of the ice, there's land. Unlike the North Pole, the South Pole continent is under glaciers that weigh thousands of tons. All that mass has been pressing down the land for many years, and this is the reason why the lowest land point was found here. The Denman Glacier in East Antarctica was a discovery made by a team of researchers who were under directions from scientists from the University of California, Irvine. On their mission, they found a canyon that was quite interesting in that it had been affected by the pressure. The place they discovered was 2.1 miles or 3.4 kilometers below sea level. Here are a few comparisons for perspective. New York, that's in the lowland and on top of a few islands, is located at an altitude of 32 feet and 10 meters above sea level. Denver, a remarkably huge mountain city, on the other hand, is located at an altitude of 1 mile or 1.6 kilometers above sea level. The minimum thickness of ocean crusts has a small range of 3.1 to 4.3 miles or 5 to 7 kilometers. The glacier has pressed the mainland toward the mantle of the planet almost 50% in. Picture the time it takes to push an entire valley so deep down. Antarctica is the place to learn the past of our planet. Number 7. Ancient Penguins We all know that 65 million years ago, dinosaurs are believed to have become extinct as mammals and birds got some extra free space for themselves. Question is, which animals replaced the dinosaurs? Scientists and researchers found that for thousands of years, Antarctica held some of the most dominant predators in the southern hemisphere. I know you are thinking about the penguin family. The ancient penguins are related to the contemporary penguins and were much faster and more aggressive. The ancient penguins were the size of a fully grown human being, weighing 265 pounds, which is the equivalent of 120 kilograms. Their bodies are slightly different from contemporary birds in that they have stronger legs and the body proportions resemble those of an albatross. The albatross and petrels are the closest relatives of the birds and the skeletons that were found somewhere in the mainland of Antarctica. They are believed to have lived 60 to 62 million years ago and they lost their ability to fly and became regular waterfowl. 
Number 6. Dinosaurs Dinosaurs are the remains of the ancient lizards called leaf asaurus, confirming the theory of supercontinents that may have existed tens and hundreds of millions of years ago. These remains were also found in other continents besides Antarctica, but this one was never able to swim. In an archaeological excursion in Antarctica, a skeleton of the cynodont reptile was found, and they're also found in South America as well as India. Scientists also truly believe that the Antarctic was at some point part of South America, India, Africa and Australia. Number 5. Erebus Mountain, Ross Island Antarctica is very cold, yet under the ice lie active volcanoes. The heat from a certain volcano has melted many glaciers. It's not really a single one-time eruption. Rather, it's a continuous heat radiation that's been ongoing for such a long time that it warms caves under the ice. Erebus Mountain, Ross Island is where you'll find caves under the ice. We're not just talking about one cave, there's a whole lot of them. Endless lines of corridors and rooms inside the cave. They're created by a stream that rises up from the volcano, and some of the scientists are convinced that there's life deep down in the caves, which can apparently get heat from the volcano, water from the ice, and sunlight from the glacier. Antarctica has high solar radiation, and researchers have found the round areas within the ice. That said, they do believe that there might be an ecosystem that allows survival, something similar to dinosaurs that were able to survive on ice. Experts have also discovered DNA traces which are under scrutiny, and this could be a breakthrough in finding out what kind of creatures live below the Antarctic ice caps. What kind of organisms dwell there? Living creatures are not the only mystery of the Antarctic. This very special continent is both frozen in state as well as time. Number 4. Gondwana and Laurasia These are believed to have been supercontinents. Back then, the climate in Antarctica was a little warmer, and they were densely inhabited, subtropical and with tropical forests. This was also close to the equator in the southwest of the Pacific Ocean. Antarctica also surprises us with discoveries in present day. Marie Bird Active Volcanoes Under the ice all the way in West Antarctica, geologists and scientists from NASA discovered a lake underground. Instead of water, the place is filled with magma. This happens in Marie Bird, where a number of active mini-volcanoes exist. The heat in this place is almost comparable to what you'd find in a Yellowstone supervolcano. There are no crusts or reasons why they would exist. Scientists believe that this is where the so-called plume is usually located. There, a giant mushroom-shaped structure that arises from the magma to the surface of the planet. Plumes consist of a lightweight and hot substance and provoke appearance of volcanoes and glaciers. The thing is, these volcanoes aren't mountain-shaped, but are erupting holes in the ground under the glaciers. The ice caps of Antarctica melt three times faster over the land of Marie Bird than over any other area. All these discoveries and interesting puzzles are pretty interesting. They usually relate to Antarctica itself as a place that seems to separate itself from the world and the majority of people. Number 2. Allen Hills Meteorite, ALH 84001 A bigger surprise is that Antarctica contributed to the exploration of outer space as well as the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Was it really important to build spacecraft in order to find aliens? In 1984, the Allen Hills Meteorite, ALH 84001, was found in Antarctica, and as the decades passed, its research has emerged, and the very first analysis from scientists was that the meteorite wasn't just a piece of rock that was wandering in space. Turns out, this rock was pulled to Earth. The meteorite is believed to have once been a fragment of Mars that happened to leave the red planet in peace and travel for long distances. The average distance between the planets is 140 million miles, or 225 million kilometers. This can fluctuate significantly when they move from each other while rotating around the Sun, of course. You may doubt that this stone is from Mars, but it's a proven fact. All the composition of the soil is identical to the Martian rock that's readily available. Secondly, there are inclusions of isotopes that fully correspond to those of the atmosphere of this planet. For now, an even bigger discovery awaits. Number 1. Fossils of Ancient Bacteria These were found in the depths of the rock, and it's still unknown whether the bacteria and the stone are similar microorganisms to Earth. The first theory is more plausible since it means that water is necessary for their existence. Mars is similar in composition to antifreeze liquid, so the question is, could even a small amount of bacteria be able to survive? And also, how could terrestrial bacteria get in the depths of the meteorite? Microorganisms are not likely to be found stubbornly penetrating stone that fell billions of years ago. That's a glimpse into Antarctica. What are your thoughts? Feel free to share. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button.
Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.